The latest model of the DB11 has been launched in India at Rs 4.27 crore by Aston Martin. The DB11 is the first car to use a twin turbocharged engine. Since we are on the engine, let's get more specific. The Aston Martin DB11 uses the all-new 5.2-litre twin-turbo V12 was developed in-house by the company and pumps out 608 HP and 700 Nm of torque, making it the most powerful unit to be fitted to a DB model. The engine comes mated to an 8-speed gearbox with steering-mounted paddle shifters. Design-wise, the DB11 is aerodynamic with vents at the front of the car and wheel arcs which are called Curly Q. On the inside, the car comes with a spacious cabin because of its increased length and instrument cluster with a 12.0-inch TFT display, an 8.0-inch infotainment display with touchpad controller, multi-touch and gesture support. A limited edition Q3 has been launched by Audi India. Called Dynamic Edition, this limited edition Q3 will cost Rs 39.78 lakhs. Only 101 units of these models would be produced, so if you want to get your hands on one of these, you better hurry. The limited production Q3 features cosmetic tweaks to the exterior to set the SUV apart from its standard siblings. It gets additional chrome garnish on the front grille, air vent covers on the lower front bumper, clear lens LED tail lamps with dynamic turn indicators and body colored finishes to the wheel arcs, bumpers and side rocker mouldings. The Dynamic Edition will be available on the 35 TDI model which is powered by a 2.0 litre diesel unit producing a peak power of 177 HP and comes mated to a 7-speed automatic gearbox that sends power to all the wheels. A limited edition model of the Datsun Redigo was launched in India at Rs 3.49 lakh. As was shown in the teaser image that Datsun released a couple of days before the launch, the car sports a sportier body. Notable changes on the exterior of the car includes racing stripes on the body, a roof-mounted spoiler and red essence and gunmetal finish on the grille and blackout hubcaps. It should be noted here that the car still does not get the alloy wheels it was to have earlier. On the inside, the car comes with all-black interior with red contrast stitching and red inserts across the cabin. Based on the top S trim, the limited edition sports additional equipment such as remote keyless entry, Bluetooth phone compatibility, rear parking sensors and LED daytime running lamps. As far as engine and transmission is concerned, they remain unchanged. Ford EcoSport Signature Edition Launched Ford has launched signature edition of its EcoSport SUV at Rs 10.39 lakhs. Based on the Black Edition Titanium variant, the signature EcoSport gets cosmetic changes and additional features which jacks the price of the car by Rs 38,000. Changes to the exteriors come in the form of bumper applicues, blacked out crossbars on the roof rails and EcoSport decals on the sides. The bumpers also get LED strips under the fog lamps. Interiors of the Signature Edition EcoSport feature black vinyl seat covers with red stitching and illuminated scuff plates. The engine and gearbox on the Special Edition EcoSport remain unchanged and so the Signature EcoSport continues to be powered by the 100 HP 1.5 litre petrol and the 112 HP 1.5 litre petrol engines. Both the engines come mated to a 5-speed manual transmission as standard while the petrol version has the option of 6-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission as well. The facelifted Brio hatchback has been launched in India starting at Rs 4.69 lakhs and going up to Rs 6.81 lakhs for the topmost automatic version. The facelifted Brio has received some important cosmetic changes. On the outside, the car has received a grilled with glossy black finish which kind of looks like the grill in the Honda Amaze. It has also received redesigned bumpers and tweaked tail lights. But the biggest update has been made on the inside where Honda has done away with the Spartan and Orly design dashboard seen on the earlier car and replaced it with a unit similar to that on the new Amaze and BRV. Other updates include a new instrument cluster, digital aircon controls, revised upholstery and an all-black interior for the top trim level. Mechanically, the Brio continues to use the existing 1.2-litre iVTEC petrol motor from the outgoing model and is paired to a 5-speed manual gearbox as standard. The Brio Automatic is equipped with the same 5-speed torque converter unit as well. No diesel version has been launched as yet. 
After the launch of the second generation Jaguar XF about a month ago, Jaguar Land Rover has announced the launch of its first ever sports crossover, the Jaguar F Pace in India. It is available in four diesel powered variants 2.0 litre Pure, 2.0 litre Prestige, 3.0 litre R Sport, and 3.0 litre First Edition, and prices range between Rs 68.40 lakhs to Rs 1.12 crore. The F Pace comes powered by the 2.0 litre engine premium four-cylinder turbo diesel engine in the pure and prestige variants with peak output of 176.94 HP and 3.0 litre V6 turbo diesel engine in the R Sport and first edition with peak output of 296.25 HP. All variants are equipped with an 8-speed automatic transmission and an all-wheel drive system. Just like we had informed you a few days back, the new all-electric Mahindra E20 Plus has been launched in India at starting Rs 5.46 lakhs, going up to Rs 8.46 lakhs. The E20 Plus is longer by 310 mm, wider by 61 mm and taller by 25 mm compared to the E20. Additionally, it gets a 300 mm longer wheelbase that translates to a surprising amount of cabin space. Design-wise, at the front, the Mahindra E20 Plus sports an all-new grille with vertical slats to bring it in line with other Mahindra cars flanked by the same projector headlights as the older E20. From the sides, the car has a slightly window design. The unique kink in the window line has been moved from after the C-pillar to before it. On the equipment side, the E20 Plus gets a blob-punked infotainment system all four power windows and keyless ASK E20 Plus is powered by a 72V battery pack, which extends the car's claimed range to 140 km. The battery powers a motor with a peak output of 41 HP at 3500 RPM and 91 Nm at 2500 RPM. It gets a standard direct drive transmission just like the two-door sibling. The petrol version of the Vitara Brezza will be launched by May next year. after the diesel version went on sale in the country. The report states that the engine powering the Vitara Brezza will be Maruti's new 1.5-litre four-cylinder unit, which is set to be introduced in the S-Cross and CRs next year. Some other reports have stated that the engine would be a locally assembled 1.0-litre booster jet three-cylinder unit. Whichever the engine, it will be coupled with a five-speed manual gearbox as standard, while an automatic version will be launched in August. Nissan India has launched the Tirano AMT starting at Rs 13.75 lakhs and going up to Rs 13.85 lakhs. The car can be booked by paying an advance payment of Rs 25,000. The AMT in this Tirano is a six-speed gearbox which has been borrowed from the Renault Duster. The AMT version will be available only in the top-end 1.5-litre DCI engine variant which delivers an ARAI rated efficiency of 19.61 kmpl. Just like the Renault Duster AMT, the Terrano AMT also gets hill assist control and electronic stability program. Other features include electrically folding wing mirrors with integrated turn signals, anti-pinch driver side window, a new driver armrest, soft touch pad. On the outside, Nissan have introduced a new sandstone brown shade to the color palette. Renault Duster Adventure Edition makes a comeback at Rs 9.64 lakh. The Renault Duster Adventure Edition has returned to the Indian market in a new avatar. The car was earlier launched back in 2014, which was based on the pre-facelift Duster. This time, the same Adventure spec has been added to the updated Duster. Just like the previous Adventure model, the 2016 Duster Adventure Edition gets a more aggressive front bumper with an extra pair of fog lamps, black grille alloy wheels, yellow painted roof rails. It also gets a unique paint shade. Inside the seat fabric is new and there are special orange painted bits around the AC vents and the speedometer console. The Duster Adventure Edition is available only on the 2WD variant in both engine options, priced at Rs 9.64 lakh for the 85 PS model and Rs 13.75 lakh for the more powerful 110 PS motor. 
The much-awaited diesel Amio has been launched by Volkswagen starting at Rs 6.33 lakhs and going up to Rs 9.32 lakhs. This is the first car from Volkswagen in India to come with the updated 110 hp 1.5 liter diesel engine. A 5-speed manual gearbox would be offered as standard but buyers can opt for a 7-speed dual clutch unit. Features in the Amio diesel include cruise control, static cornering lights, ESP and hill hold control, rain sensing wipers and touchscreen infotainment system with mirror link. On the safety front, all variants get dual airbags as standard. The Amio diesel is available in three trim levels: trend line, comfort line and high line with equipment shared with its petrol sibling already on sale.